world generating 89 90 100% complete will my computer freeze up we are joining the world today we are playing minecraft but not normal minecraft why is it not full screen also do we have sound oh we do have sound okay we want to go options vault difficulty hard difficulty hard video settings full screen advanced this this graphics fancy hmm general brightness full screen that is the thing apply we are done black screen of death and doom and destruction we've done it all right so today i am playing minecraft for like the first time in basically 16 or so years i think wait can i not kill a sheep but i am playing minecraft vault hunters because vanilla minecraft just seems really boring modded minecraft seems overwhelming and fun and like there's tons to explore and try to figure out but it's also going to be painful so the main reason i'm doing this is because etho has been putting out vault hunters videos there was a big break between episode three and vault hunters episode four that just came out and during that time he has advanced like crazy in the game and i can't follow what's happening at all so I'm just gonna play the game myself and then maybe I'll be able to figure things out. I have a skin. Why do I have a skin? Is that a default skin or did I do this like 16 years ago? I might have done that. I know the very basics of Minecraft, but we're talking the very basics. Just from like having watched someone play for years, but mostly as background noise. Um, I want a bunch of sticks. We're gonna figure this all out. Wait. I didn't actually... There we go. I did, wasn't actually using the crafting table. We want to get cobblestone immediately. I'm going to read these books. But before we do that, let's get, like, the basic vanilla Minecraft stuff. Are there naturally spawning slabs? weird very weird so yeah i can't understand what is happening in ethos playthrough at all this is going to be a much slower much more painful just like exploring the game figuring things out it's probably going to take me a few episodes to even get to any of the modded content Right now, I'm just trying to figure out vanilla Minecraft, and we're going to do it. We're going to get two pickaxes right off the bat. Hey, advancement made. Good stuff. Vault Hunters introduction. Welcome to Vault Hunters 3rd edition. This mod pack turns your Minecraft experience into a progression-based action RPG aimed to be played over a longer period of time. Many accessibility settings to customize. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure that out. In this quest line, we will teach you about the basic fundamentals of the game and help you get started on your journey. That is perfect. Before playing, make sure to set the game difficulty. We did that. I clicked it. Pause my menu. Five different difficulties. These settings affect mob health and damage inside the vaults. Game mode. There's a normal, casual, hardcore, with normal being the default. Normal's probably good. Normal. Death after level 20 causes a spirit to spawn at your spawn point. Using a spirit extractor, you can buy back your lost items. Sounds perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Click the check. Hit complete. Did we just get food? Maybe. Quest overview. Chromatic iron. The first step in your journey as a vault hunter is to find the core metal of vault hunters. Chromatic iron. Found in the deepest part of your world, below Y-30. It can be mined with an iron pickaxe and fortune to increased yield. We need to get 16 of this. Okay. So a big question for this series is how much do I record and how much do I play off camera? Can I mine this? No. I do not know the answer to that. 
Where did I put my crafting table? Okay, shift makes you run slow. But control seems to speed you up just a little bit. The auto jump is a little bit weird. Hmm. Okay, we want a full set of tools. Do that first. Full set of tools. I did not get enough cobblestone. We want an axe. Quit pushing me. I will fight you. And we want a shovel. So all we're missing is a sword. Get our sword. And then we're ready to fight the sheep. Let's go. What have I done? Okay, hitting F. Put the pickaxe into my left hand. Huh. Can I still use it somehow while it's in my left hand? I don't think so. Good to know, though. Do I take this with me? Nah, we'll leave it. We will leave it. I probably want to get into this mountain. Into this mountain? If I hit M, we do have a map. I like the idea of going over to this ravine, maybe. Okay, I can see I'm at negative 18, 74, 56. I think that 56 is what needs to go down to negative 30. I hear mobs. Coal is definitely a thing I'm going to need. So let's get some of that. If we're going underground, I need to be able to light things up. I am tempted to kill some sheep. But maybe I should leave them alive and try to breed them. Maybe that isn't a big concern. And food is the priority. I wonder if I should be collecting like this. Sky of Beginning. Lexica Batania. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of stuff. It might be kind of overwhelming, but we'll see. Maybe it won't. What about these purple flowers? Can I just start using modded stuff or do I have to unlock it? I thought about playing a different mod pack too, like Skyblock. That was an option. I don't know if I want to be down here. What are you? Nothing. Okay. Up we go. I don't want to be too far from spawn. We could go down here. This isn't too far down. I kind of like it. Seems reasonable. This can be a little hobbit cave. So yeah, again, I have to figure out how much of this I'm doing off video. And I think the answer is more than zero. Like some of it is going to be off video. Otherwise, it's just going to be too much stuff. I should really edit. I don't know if I'm going to edit these or not. Okay, that is a very fast little zombie. Why do I only do one damage? Okay, when I wait and then swipe i did five damage we were slain by a little zombie it's about to be nighttime i can see my skull on the map why did we end up in a tree because there's the little zombie okay we can do this by which i mean we cannot do this i'm trying to learn how it's ai works holy tankiness It runs towards me, but it also stops in weird, like, hmm. It's not just attacking and running full speed the whole time. Respawn again. How many deaths? Oh no, it leaves my body. Can you climb out of there? Or are you stuck? Because if you're stuck, I'd like my stuff. My stuff is over here? No. That's my latest. Oh, that's the old death. I was going to say. Is my stuff down there? Or it is down there. With the little zombie. 
And now there's a skeleton. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is going to be my whole... We have done it! How? Transfer items. Okay, stuff moves back to the same slots. I would like to go here to panic, to put this right there. That's on nine. That's on eight. And then to lock myself in. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Okay, I built a crafting table. Crafting table is on nine. That goes there. I can put these here, these here. Shift click, we now have 16 torches. It's beautiful. This is our home. All right, I'm gonna work on digging out the home a little bit and I'll be back in a second. Why did music just start randomly playing? Music in this game seems weird. I've been in here digging for a little bit and there's been no music playing. And now suddenly there is music playing. Very strange. I don't know what my plan is yet. I'm kind of just trying to make something that looks at least decent. But defining what looks decent is very much like a matter of personal preference. So this is my entrance to the outside. Oh, it's daytime again. Okay, skeleton. I'd rather not die, but you are on fire. Hmm. Do skeletons drop anything of value? They might drop like an arrow, but I don't think they drop anything beyond that. Skeleton? They drop bones. Okay, I found another skeleton. I'd rather not mess with that. Let's go up. Let's come back into our little cave. Could I build a door? Probably. I think one of the things I need while it's daytime are trees. Do I want to leave any trees? I will, but not this one right in front of my base. I'll leave some though. I could always just replant them, I think. If I get saplings, I could totally do that. Okay. Have I gotten saplings? I will. I can barely jump two. Can I jump three? Hold control, run and jump. We can jump three. Can I jump four? Can I jump three and a vertical? Okay, I did not jump it. I started to fall down. We almost can. I probably could. Okay, that was two and a vertical. All of this is where I dug through my roof. And then I panic placed blocks because I was afraid something was going to drop down onto me. I want to leave a bunch of these trees, but not all of them. Why is this tree different? I'm going to leave that tree. We'll leave the tall trees because they're tough to chop down. I swear I hit jump. Hit. Okay, that time I hit jump too early. I do have torches. Torches should be here. Torches are on five. I probably want to light things up near my base. Free arrow? Okay, that's an exploder. That's a creeper. Spacebar to swim. Hmm. Can I fight you? Probably could. I do want to go explore and mine down. We got a sapling. What are you? I don't know if I can mine that yet. I already mined that stuff. This stuff is nothing. Okay, I need a way to mark that this is my base. A good way to mark it where I'll be able to find it again. To do that, what do I have? I don't have much. We have a bunch of copper. I have a bit of wood. All of that wood. Sort. Wait, I didn't want this to move. Can I lock things in place? Of that wood. Okay, I'm going to put the wood onto six. And 
will build up right here. Okay. Don't hit my head. This is tougher to do than when watching videos of people doing it. It's not tough. Okay, but you have to place it at exactly the right time. Okay, that's not really tall enough. Oh, but once you get it down, you can just click it very quickly. Am I gonna die? Respawn. The good news is it gives us a death marker and look at this, we're so close to home. Am I gonna die again? No, I'm at full health. Okay, so control and that was not a jump. That was not a jump at all. Will my body fall? Probably not. You there! Why did I die all the way up there? I need to build a tower so that I can access my body to get my stuff so that I could build a tower. Okay, we're gonna go back to punching trees, short trees. We pick on the shortest of the trees. At least it's daytime. And now I don't need food. Okay, but my hearts are not full. I'm kind of surprised that it respawns you on top of a tree. Hmm. Wait, I just got branches for breaking leaves. Is that true? No. Is it true? No. Yeah, they're right there. Okay, these. These. Shift click. Why does it go to nine? We don't need to build up that much. That was it. Transfer items. We're good to go. Now, I have an axe. Chop back down. So this is just meant as a convenient way. Hopefully that disappears at some point. This is just a convenient way to find home. Will it show up on the map? Not really. Okay, what does home look like? Home is here. Got it. I could also look at the coordinates, but I'll forget those. I'll get those mixed up. There are saplings. I would like to plant some saplings. Saplings can go on seven. Seven. Okay, more saplings. Let's have an unnatural tree thing grow that just kind of like points me to the entrance of my home. I only have one more sapling. That's fine. <laughs> Is that fine? I keep hitting shift to go faster and shift like makes you crouch. It's the opposite of what I would expect. But that's okay. I'll get used to control. It'll just take me a little bit. So this one, that goes here. This would go here. You go there. <laughs> There's already a tall tree there. Let's put this one right here. Perfect. These are short trees. I will chop them down, get their wood, and then we can burrow it, burrow away like a dwarf underground. That is the game plan. Just before I do that, I want to make sure I have lots of wood. And if I could find some more coal, that would be good. This tree is just sad. You are a sad little tree. What else is there before I go underground? What about a pig? Ooh, what about a cave? The smallest of caves with copper. So far, I haven't found a use for copper. Iron is a priority. Yeah, this cave is lame. Can I get out without having to dig? Yeah. Movement in this game feels like it's going to be very important, especially whenever I finally get to the Vault Hunters thing. I don't know what I feed these animals. I think it's hay. What are you? 
You are a pig? <laughs> okay. Not gonna ask questions. I did just ask a question. I'm not gonna ask any more questions. This auto jump is messing with me a little bit. That's all right. I'm just collecting surface stuff before I go disappear for like the next four episodes is the plan. I don't actually have any idea of the time frame for doing any of the stuff in the game is this iron. I think it is. That is actually important. And does one ore equal one bar? I know it does for vanilla Minecraft, but this is not vanilla. There's my home. I'm so glad that I built that, especially as it becomes nighttime. These are new flowers. Will you regrow if I leave them? I don't think so, so let's just get them all. I will plant new flowers someday. Maybe. More coal. I do care about coal. But okay. Gravel drops. So does sand. Got it. Affected by gravity. More coal. I think coal is important. What else do we got going? Why are there green flowers? Okay, not you. I need to make a door. Hit control. Run. We go down. <laughs> we hit. No, I placed. I can't place. Did the zombie despawn? I don't think it did. Last death, 29 meters. It's right here. I love having this marked. Best thing I've done so far. I have not done much. You are short. Just like the short trees, you shall perish. Except I don't do any damage. Okay, we have a problem. I can't jump over these. I would like to transfer the items, hit one, and then fight you. You better leave. Wait, hit one. No, I'm placing. Place. It's too small. I can't. I could seal it in. Okay, I need one block. That block cannot be a stone block. We can use one block of dirt to seal it in. Where? My tower's right here. But it's in there with my body. <laughs> what is hitting me? Why is it hitting me? I don't understand. How did you get out? You're cheating! Was it not actually in there? Or is it cheating? I feel like it's cheating. We're gonna have like a dozen deaths, all because of this stupid, unkillable baby. Lure it out. You, come with me. Okay, good. Come with me. Can we drown it? Come with me. You're stupid. I hope you drown. Okay. You need to drown. Stay away. I don't like you. I don't have any blocks. Okay, but you're slow in the water. And you're stupid. Says the person who just died to it multiple times. Okay, give me the dirt. All I have to do... I need two pieces. That's it? That's it? Seal the door. We're in. We've done it. All right, click this. Transfer the items. Look at that. We got a free piece of wood in here. Watch, there's going to be another baby zombie, and I'm going to cry. We're good. We are good. I think I lit this place up enough. Transfer the items. Easy game. All right, I'm going to continue working on this little base for a little bit. And then when I'm ready to dig down, we'll come back. Maybe I should do this part on camera. I don't know. This is only a few seconds later. We're going to make four furnaces. I just made two chests. And where do I want to place those? Those will go. Hmm. I have to think about this. Down this center corridor. They will go. 
right here. When I say right here, I mean back a little ways. Back how much? They will go right there. Bam. This is where the furnaces will go. Furnaces are on eight. Place, 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 place. Did I get rid of all my coal? I did not. We only need one piece of coal to do six iron. In this other one, put in the copper. Give it this. I do need way more coal. At least we still have seven torches. I should be smelting up some cobblestone. I still have to look at the other book, too. Which book did I look at so far? We looked at this book. We need 16 raw chromatic iron at level negative 30 or deeper. This book, Vault Hunters, third edition, the official Vault Hunters encyclopedia. Getting started, welcome to Vault Hunters. It's highly recommended to explore this chapter as well as the quest book. We've already looked at the quest book to understand the essentials of Vault Hunters. That's the introduction. No, Vault Hunters is a progression-based action RPG game. Longer period, customize the experience. Running vaults in another dimension temporarily contains loot vault experience. We're just reading the bold. Wait, is there a next page? Mark this category as red. Add a bookmark. Huh. Chromatic iron. Chromatic iron is an ore that can spawn in plentiful veins. Now it says below negative 32, sometimes exposed to the surface. When mined, it yields raw chromatic iron. The amount can be increased with fortune. It can be smelted into ingots, recipes, only some. Wait, only some has to be found in the overworld, as it can also be found within the vaults. Good stuff. Enough reading. Get me this. This is important. So with this, I have to make decisions. I think the first thing I make is a pickaxe. Really, the first two things I make might be pickaxes. I do have the sticks. I do want to get armor as well. Hmm. Maybe I should have made other stuff. Putting down these chests will allow me to clear out my inventory a bit. So let's do that. To do that, we need to figure out where the chests are going to go. I kind of want them right next to the ovens. Hmm. I have to think about that. This is why we're making more pickaxes. Let's go through the stone one first. So ultimately, I'd like there to be able to be six smelters, maybe more. That's the wrong tool. Cool. I thought I was done mining that. I already have lots of copper, and I don't know if it's used for anything at this point. I think the chest is going to go right here. These books can get put in the chest. Chest needs to have one space above it to be able to open it. I believe. Insert, extract, shift lock. Insert, sort. Take this out, take this out, take this out. Take this out. Ooh, the cooked steaks. Those are good. Stone slabs. I could build with those. This seems useful. Anything else? I think that's it. And then we have to rearrange. So yeah, now I'm going to do some digging off camera and be back in a bit. All right. Base mining is complete for right now. We have this little, like, entrance room. We have our little smelting room. And then, off to this side, we have what is going to be the cave down. The cave down is going to start right here. Or staircase down? I don't know. And all it's going to do is go down. My main goal for this right now is to find all of the iron I need for full iron gear and lots of coal because I only have three torches and three torches do not feel like enough. Worst case, I can go back out onto the surface and look for more coal. It is going to be very dark down here. Hmm. 
we're almost through this stone pick. Then I'm going to switch over to an iron pick. And after that, hopefully, I won't have to use stone tools ever again. But we'll see. Well, except for all the other things that I haven't even made out of iron yet. But I'm hoping to never have to use below an iron pick, except when I die. Again, look at that. Free iron. Good stuff. But we do need coal. Very badly. Very, very badly. So, this is my game plan. I'm going to dig down and I'll come back when I hit anything interesting. I did not find coal, so I'm back up on the surface to look for coal, but it's nighttime, so this is not the ideal time, and I can't jump. Okay, control plus jump. We're looking for exposed coal, but this could lead to my death. Definitely could. There's a creeper. Creeper would be a quick way to dig, in theory. There's more creepers. There is a zombie with a sword. Skeleton with the bow actually concerns me. Hmm. I'm just looking for coal. There's coal. Every piece of coal is four torches. You just blew up coal for me. You did not blow up coal for me. Okay. I'm about to die. We would like to hit control. Look for the tower. I heard an arrow. And live! Although, maybe it would be better to die because then I don't have to worry about food. I need to make a door. To make a door. Can I make a door out of stone? No. No, you cannot. Clear, dri clear grid. Is it a mistake to make wood doors? Don't know. That is not a thing. I have to smelt it. I can smelt wood. That is a thing I could do. Huh. Should I do that? I could smelt eight pieces of wood into eight coal. Using one coal. I think that's how that works. All right, let's do it. Wood is still valuable to me, though. Now, with this coal... What do I want to do? I want to make torches. I can do that. Do I even need a crafting table? No. Okay, good. Now I can dig deeper. I want to put down a door. But I don't know if it's going to hold back enemies. I think that's what a door does. And I'm very low on health. Maybe I should be eating. There goes a valuable steak. Alright, let's assume that we're fine. Bam! It's beautiful. Hopefully it keeps me safe. Where am I? I need to smelt up some stone. But for that, I'm going to need more coal. Okay, now. I can go... Why do I get lost already? I can go back down into the darkness and make it not dark. I have not made it that far so far. We've made it this far. Back down we go. What is that? Is that a cave or is that a dark block? That is a dark block. What are you? What were you? I do not know what that was. Okay. Came back too soon. Our first pieces of clay. Not super exciting. I'm digging with the wrong tool. But we found deep underground clay. A new thing. I'm going to end up finding so many new things. I don't even know if it's worth unpausing for. But I can actually mine this new thing. At first I thought I wasn't even going to be able to mine it. What are you? Rubies. You are... Cinnabar. What the hell is Cinnabar? Who knows? What is this? Another new thing. That is cobbled deep slate. Also, the middle one 
underneath the map, that middle coordinate seems to be my z-axis. So that one needs to get to negative 32. I thought it was the far right one. Okay, I was gonna say, I was really hoping to hit a cave by now. Or, 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 or... Am I afraid to jump into this water? I don't know. Maybe? I should make a bucket. I was hoping to at least find some coal by now. We're down to four torches. That's a little bit concerning. Okay. What is this place? Make sure I don't drown. Music is on. Can I go faster? I can if I hit control. Okay, underwater caving. How do I get under this water? It's not letting me down. There we go. Hold control. Were there broken blocks over here? There's stuff. Uh-oh. Are those piranhas? Okay. Am I going to use one of my precious torches? I am. It's so bright above the water. Okay, getting below the water is actually a little bit tricky. Also, where did I come in? It was a little bit of a swim. What is that? That is a bat. Bat? The bat is surprisingly tough to kill. There we go. Bat is dead. Does not drop anything. Okay, what's up with you guys? You're just regular fish. There's a bunch of ores that I should be mining. Okay, that looks tough to mine. I'm kind of afraid something's gonna attack me. Oh, I might mine slower underwater. What is this one? That is raw tin. Tin might mix with copper to make bronze? To make brass. Bronze, I think. What is the difference between bronze and brass? Bronze is easier to make, I believe. Okay, so how do I get in here? And how do I get back out? This could be a problem. Don't drown. Don't drown. I'm about to drown. Okay. We know, looking at the mini-map, that my tunnel is somewhere... Somewhere around here. Let's just try and dig and connect to it. Because I don't like doing... This is not the right direction for my tunnel. Okay. I'm going to waste yet another of my precious torches. We need to look for coal. I'm going to keep an eye out for coal. Can I jump that high? No. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Okay, there we go. Cool. What is this room? I can mine this. You are sulfur. Sulfur doesn't sound particularly useful right now. That is iron. Bam. No mobs down here. Well, except for the fish. I'm almost through one iron pickaxe. What is this? Something just made a noise. Hmm. Who knows? Can I get anything from these vines, or do I need shears? Also, I'd rather not use my pickaxe on them. It seems like if I'm in the water, then I'm not good at breaking things. Ooh, those ones broke. And they gave me things. They're producing light. Wonder why that other one would not break. I do see ores up there. We're at depth 16. I still need to go deeper. There's a bunch of iron underwater. But I just said mining underwater might be tricky. Let's find out. 
God, it's so hard to go. Oh, I'm hitting space. Okay, control makes me go down quicker. I do mine slower. But iron. Okay, go back up. Space, not control. Okay, I don't really want to take damage because food is limited. Let's get healed back up some. I'd rather find non-underwater iron. If I leave the top of these, will they regrow? Possibly. Oops, I just broke the top. So again, we're looking for charcoal. I do see exposed iron. I also see whatever this stuff is. Let's get whatever this stuff is. This stuff is raw tin. What? Thermal expansion mechanism disabled in the vaults. I don't know what that means. We can climb up vines. Okay, that is good to know. That is really good to know. Okay, first iron pick gone. Luckily, we made two. And we're getting enough iron to make more as long as I can find the coal to smelt it. I do have eight charcoal sitting back at home waiting for me, in theory. In practice, who knows? Will these regrow? Hopefully. Can I eat those? We have eight of them? Yes, I can. I'd rather s save the cooked vault steak. I just need coal. Above all else. No, creeper. More iron. Stuff to pick up. Okay, I also need to know my way out. This was not the way out. You're following me. Okay. I think you had stopped following me. Can I get you to explode? Yeah. Kind of surprised that hurt me. You there. You are a light gray shimmering mushroom from Botania. You're a pink shimmering mushroom. Botania is one of the things that I want to play with for sure. There's a whole cave here. I don't want to get lost. I'm already lost. I can't see my tunnel. Crap. My main base entrance, I think, is like right here. Some Oh, it's probably this right here. Is that it? There's more food. Food is good. Cool. But more food means that I have not been this way. We need to find the way back. The way back is not the way down. Okay, but there's also iron. If I die down here, I'm never going to get this stuff again. I will, but it'll be a pain. Okay, charcoal. Top priority. Then I can make more torches. And there's water behind the charcoal. Break it. There we go. What is that place? Wait a second, that place looked amazing. If I had like scuba gear. Oh no. Oh no. Am I flooding this place? I totally am. Is it worth it for the iron? Maybe. Okay, I'm about to drown. I don't like this. Okay, there's more iron. We can create more flooding. There's so much iron. There's so much water. Does scuba gear exist? 
Look at this place. It looks amazing. I would love to go explore that. Okay, to get home. To get home. It has to be this way. It has to be, right? I feel more lost looking at this now than I did a few minutes ago. I remember this big lake, and then I think I'm right here. I think this is me. If that, how am I all the way over here if so? That can't be. Okay, but I think it's in that general direction. Except that there's more iron here and I would have mined that if I came from this way. I'm so lost. I just want to find my way home. There's a creeper. There's a zombie. There's a bunch more iron. Come on. Yeah. Okay, but I'm worried about that creeper. There's blue ore. That creeper could come blow me up at any time. Like right now. But it can also blow up the zombies. I should have made more torches. Crap! You're holding a tool. Will you drop that shovel when you die? Okay. What I want to do is make more torches. I can only make eight. Okay. Eight is better than none. Those are supposed to be on five. These go on six. Nope! I was just gonna mine. I am not gonna mine. I am getting sniped. This looks like where I could have come from. This direction. This does not look like where I came from. Did I drop down? No, I don't think I did. I don't. I came up from like below. Is that true? No, because then I would have flooded where I was digging. What is this? This looks like I dug it. This totally looks like I dug it. <laughs> How did I get here? This looks like where I would have entered from underwater, maybe? Okay, wait. I see it on the mini-map. This is where I was digging to try and get back to my tunnel, I think. My tunnel? Looks like it could be right in here, maybe. No. But I did light this up. We're close. We are close. Okay. We're going to find it. And now I have more charcoal. Not really. I have more torches. Which is similar to having more charcoal. Look at that. We found it. Do I want things to be able to drop down on my head? Probably not. We are home. Should I? Okay, I should go drop stuff off just because I have so much of it. And if I had coal, I would be able to smelt up the iron. Hmm. But I don't have coal. And I could smelt up some cobblestone into stone and make stairs, which would be really nice. I hope that it is daytime and I want to go out into the world and look for more coal. Right! Eight pieces. I totally have eight pieces. They are right here. Not in that one. Yes, in that one. What do I have? I have a bunch of iron. Twelve. Sixteen. All of it but one. So that should need... I don't know how much. I think it needs three more pieces. You! I could smelt up some tin. 
cinnabar. I wonder if I can smelt that. I think the thing that I want is torches. I do think it's torches. I'm a little bit worried about that door. All right. Insert. Sort. Insert. Sort. Now, things that I actually want out of here. I already have two stacks of these. That feels sufficient. I have eight food. Eight crappy food. Where's my good food? Good food. Spruce logs. I don't have extra tools. Charcoal. Sticks. That is all the stuff I want. Okay. Between this episode and next, I want to get down to negative 32 depth. And then we can look around for that new iron stuff. Ah, but I also do want to make stuff. What do I want to make? I want to make tools. I want to make armor. Let's go make two more pickaxes. What am I doing? Sticks. Put the sticks in. Ooh, and the music's coming on to end the episode. Good job, music. I think with four I can make boots. Boots. Boots give two armor. And they give us an advancement. Right click. Look at that. We have shoes. Um, beyond that, there's a bunch of waiting. A bunch of waiting. I think I am just going to make a bunch more torches. 24. That's still not that many. More tools would be good. I should build another crafting bench down here. Not that. I know I have the one by the door. This seems more convenient. And what do I want to do with that? I don't know. I want to make a helmet. I have four left. I could make a bucket. I don't think I'm good enough at the game to make use of the bucket efficiently. I think armor takes eight and legs take seven. So as soon as this one finishes, I could make some legs. Or I could wait for one more and then make a chest. We'll make the chest. We will continue pantsless. But I should get enough iron soon to be able to be fully geared up. Did all of those pieces... Okay, when I hit tab, which I keep thinking is inventory, mobs show up on the borders. Weird. All right. Two armor, two armor, two armor. And above my hearts, it shows three armor. Weird. No, eat this. I wonder if I can plant these. I totally can. Why am I giving them space in between? Who knows? Don't plant them like that. I don't get it back when I try to unplant them. Okay, you can go right there. Good stuff. I still have one piece of charcoal, which could make even more torches, which would allow me to explore even further. Which I'm going to do in between episodes. So for now, that does it for this first episode 
of Vault Hunters. Give me feedback in the comments. Let me know, should I be skipping more? Should I try and get further off camera, figure out all the basics? Yeah, just give me feedback. Let me know what you think. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.